So, so when, when a lot of people think about this idea of the customer journey, uh, it's really more about demand creation. You know, how do I get somebody to know about us? And, you know, the customer funnel or the mm -hmm. marketing funnel is something that people probably are more aware of. Um, and unfortunately for me, you know, where I have a problem with that is it typically ends at we got the sale. So it's, it's all about, you know, how do, we, how do we get them to do what we want them to do so we get a sale and that's the end of it. So what I created was this, this metaphor of the hourglass, um, which does certainly borrow from the funnel shape. I mean, we do have to get some percentage of the market out there to know that we exist and some smaller percentage to know that they're an ideal client. But then for the hourglass, I flipped the funnel over at the point at which somebody becomes a customer uh, because to me, that's where uh, that's where real growth occurs in an organization is is the retention part and the part where they uh, tell their friends, neighbors, and colleagues the referral part. Um, and so, those behaviors, as you mentioned, are, are really kind of how I define it. Because you know, we we can talk all about all the changes, and you know, a lot of marketers are you know very stressed out about this new platform and that new platform. But the thing people forget is. You know, since I've been in business, the thing that's changed the most is how people can buy now and how they do buy now. And so a lot of the journey that we used to try to create or force, you know, is really out of our hands anymore. You know, we were talking about the, the way people buy now is they go and they research and they ask their friends and they, they, they look and see who else trusts you. And if there's other, you know, social proof and, and then, and only then do they maybe contact us as a business? I mean, they've maybe even made their buying decision already based on everything they've been doing. So I, I, I suggest that our job as behavior as, as, as marketers is less about creating demand and more about organizing the behaviors that people want to participate in with the businesses they do business with. And those seven behaviors are know, like, and trust, try, buy, repeat, and refer. And, and it really, by creating, by, by understanding that framework, and then just looking at each of those stages and saying, what do we need to do at this stage and at this stage? And once somebody becomes a customer and how do we, uh, you know, how do we intentionally get them to buy more or to, uh, to stay a customer? And how do we intentionally generate referrals? Just by focusing on the fact that all of those stages exist really allows you to prioritize uh, the, the campaigns and the content and the marketing that you create.